Yo, what is going on everybody? Shri Kanasa here. So how to rank number one on Google Shopping Ads. Now this is one of the most commonly asked questions when it comes to Google Shopping Ads, simply because dropshippers really aren't too sure as to what they should be doing in order to beat their competition with Google Shopping Ads and rank more towards the front. Because if you already don't know, with Google Ads, the e-commerce stores, which are more towards the front, are the ones which have the highest sales when it comes to Google ads and also are the ones that are the most successful. So it is pretty important when it comes to Google shopping ads to be ranking towards the front. But exactly how do you do it? What steps should you be taking in order to achieve that goal? In this video, I'm going to be breaking down exactly what this rank is determined by and also give you a step-by-step -step strategy on how to rank more towards the front. But without wasting any more time, let's just jump right into it. The very first thing you'll have to do in order to boost start your journey with the ranking towards the front is to just destroy that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. It'll take just two quick seconds. Okay, hopefully you've done that. Let's jump right into it. So how to rank number one on Google. The first thing we'll have to start with is knowing exactly what is this rank even determined by. There are several different factors which directly influence this rank. A lot of people think that just having a high bid is all you need in order to rank more towards the front, and that is far from the truth. In fact, there are multiple different factors. You need to be making sure that your ads hit in order to find the best success. Number one factor is quality score. Exactly what is quality score? Now, with Google Shopping Ads, you directly don't have access to this number, but Google and its algorithm associates a number from a given scale to your ads and this number determines how well your ads perform. For example, if this was a scale from one to 10, one would be that your ads just absolutely are horrible, nobody's clicking on them, so Google just puts you towards the very end. And number 10 being that your ads are rock solid, they're the best ads Google has ever seen and they're gonna boost your ads towards the front. This quality score is directly influenced by the CTR of your products that you currently have. And CTR is basically the number of clicks that your ad is getting compared to your competitor's ad. So that is what influences CTR. But in addition, quality score is also determined by the bid. That bid, of course, plays a very important role overall because Google is a business. It does want your money first. But as you can see, bid is not the only thing that influences that. Along with bid, CTR is also just as important. For bid, whenever somebody searches up a keyword on Google, all of the products and all of the stores selling that product for that keyword get put inside an auction. And within that auction, Google is going to look at the quality score, which is again influenced by CTR and bid. So you want to make sure that your products have high CTRs. But in addition, make sure you're not bidding too low. But those aren't the only things which determine the success of your ads. Another thing which is very, very important when it comes to Google shopping ads is relevancy. Now, you may be thinking, what does that even mean? Relevancy with the keywords you're using for your products. This is why in almost all of my Google Ads tutorials, I always talk about having the right keyword because without the right keyword, your ads are just not going to be relevant. When they're not relevant, what happens is Google has trouble putting your ads out to the right audience. And if the audience that is looking at your ads is not interacting with your ads, is not clicking on it, that's when your quality score starts to become lower and lower. So that's why relevancy is the number one thing which also affects your shopping ads. And again, this is directly influenced by keywords. Basically, all I'm saying is make sure you have the right keywords. For instance, if you're trying to sell a dog necklace, make sure the product that you actually have to sell is a dog necklace before you put the keyword dog necklace in your title or your descriptions. Because if you're selling a cat necklace and you try to rank for the keyword dog necklace, it's not relevant enough. What's going to happen is the people that are searching for that keyword are just not going to click on your ads. When that happens, your quality score plummets and that's when you start failing with your ads. So these things are directly influencing your ability to rank number one with Google system. But in addition to that, one more thing which a lot of people forget about is your Merchant Center account. Believe it or not, if you have a lot of errors or even barely any errors on your Merchant Center, this directly influences your ability to rank number one with Google Shopping Ads. This is simply because Merchant Center is kind of like the overall foundation of your entire Google Ads account. If your foundation is weak and it has faults in it, of course, whatever you lay on top of the foundation is simply not going to work. And that's the same thing with Google Shopping Ads. If your Merchant Center has tons of errors, whether they're red errors or orange errors, Google is going to count that against you and it's going to make ranking number one or towards the front with Shopping 
something that's much more difficult. So you always want to make sure you're working on fixing those errors up. You always want to make sure your Merchant Center account is super clean. But these three factors are some of the most important factors which directly determine your rank with shopping ads. But exactly what should you be doing and what should the strategy be in order to really rank high? Because so far I've just gone over the basics of it. So there are several things you'll have to start doing from now on if you want to make sure that you're ranking high. Number one is to make sure to find keywords which are directly related to the products you want to sell. And this is, again, directly influencing the relevancy of those products. The main reason why we want these SEO keywords to be relevant is so that we can use them multiple times within our titles and within our descriptions. And our title can be highly optimized with more of these SEO keywords, especially those which are searched more often towards the front. A lot of drop shippers just basically find the SEO keywords, but they just randomly put the words into their title without giving much thought to it. And that is one good way to not get the best result <clears throat> not get the best results possible with Google Shopping Ads. You want to make sure that some of the keywords which are mostly searched or have more search volume compared to your other keywords are more towards the front, meaning more towards the left compared to the other ones which are not searched as often. Because again, with Google's algorithm, it reads from left to right. So if it kind of identifies those main keywords from left to right, it's going to have an easier time ranking your products for those keywords. In addition, you can make sure that these keywords, whatever keywords you have found from the first to the last, are mentioned up to a maximum of three times within your descriptions. If you do it more than three times, it's going to start looking as if you're doing some illegal activities in order to rank higher. And this is considered black hat marketing with Google ads. It's a good way to put your account at risk of getting suspended. So if you really don't want to put your account at risk, you want to make sure that you don't do it more than a max of three times in order to stay on Google's good side. But make sure that whatever keywords you do find are relevant. It doesn't matter if you find less keywords just following this number one rule, make sure you follow it still because this is number one, this is the most important but that is not the only one this brings me to number two and that is the image should be very very high quality now a lot of people believe that when they see the word high it just means having a lifestyle image and that is far from the truth because a lot of my winning products also have white background plain images which are the most boring in the world but they work and here's why you want to simply keep this idea in mind and that is opposite of all other competitors. Meaning if you're trying to sell a wireless printer and you see after you type in the main keyword for that product that all of the competitors have real lifestyle images for that product, that's when you want to go out and you want to find a plain white background image for that product. This is simply because we want to do the opposite of what everybody else is doing. We don't want to blend into the crowd. We want to stand out of the crowd. So simply doing the opposite, in this case, having a white background image will lead you to much better results compared to having a lifestyle image. And lifestyle image is considered high quality by a lot of drop shippers, but that is not always the case. This word entirely is dependent on what your competitors are doing. On the other hand, if everybody has a plain white background image, you then want to go out and find a high quality lifestyle image simply because we're trying to find ways to stand out of the crowd. This lifestyle image will let you stand out of the crowd because it will let you be different from everybody else. Remember, opposite of what everybody else is doing, opposite of all other competitors. So this is number two on my list because this is one of the most important things you can do without a proper image, without something that's standing out of the crowd, you're going to have a very hard time ranking compared to your other competitors. So make sure you always focus on getting a high quality image, which is the opposite of what everybody else is doing. But number three on my list is that the price of the product should be the average based on your competitors. This is the great way to rank more towards the front because if your price is not the highest, if it's not the lowest, if it's right in the middle, more people will be more likely to interact with your ads and may even consider buying from you. A lot of dropshippers again think that it's best to always be the cheapest. That is far from the truth. You want to be right in the middle so that you don't appear the cheapest because it's not always a great idea to appear the cheapest. A lot of people do shop for quality products via Google Shopping Ads as well. So you want to keep that in mind. In addition, Avoid looking at the big brands when determining your price because a lot of these big brands such as Amazon, eBay, Target, etc. have very, very cheap prices. We can never compete with them. In most cases, we would not be able to compete with their prices. So we don't even want to consider their prices when determining our own products price. So always be in the middle or be the average when it comes to the pricing, but try to match this pricing with other drop shipping competitors. Again, avoid the big brands. But this brings me to point number four on the list, and this is the bid directly. For the bid, not a lot of things that 
you should be doing differently one thing that i always mention in a lot of my other videos which you can check out i'll leave the link for my google ads playlist in the description below but one campaign should be at a bit of around 40 cents to 55 cents in order to really get the best bang for your buck this is the bid range that i've noticed has the highest potential of advertising almost all of your products regardless of the price and also getting them shown and winning those auctions bid anything higher and you risk at running your store at a loss bid anything lower and you risk at not getting enough impressions within the day so this range is an ideal range to be targeting another campaign however this is another general testing campaign should be run at a very very low bid of 10 cents because whatever products don't work within this 40 cent to 55 cent campaign may work within the 10 cent campaign it has happened oftentimes with my own store which is why i recommend this strategy so in total have two campaigns running with different bids to test all of your products but this kind of diversified strategy for your campaigns will let you find more winning products and will let you rank those products which are actually winning more towards the front but this brings me to my final step that you should be doing in order to rank higher and that is do optimizations on the google shopping feed app a lot of drop shippers fail to realize just how important that google shopping feed app is especially the products category within the product section for whatever is winning for you i don't normally recommend optimizing this for just about every product on your store because it takes a lot of time you may end up wasting it unnecessarily however However, you do definitely want to do this for at least your winning products or those products getting a lot of link clicks simply because adding a product category within the shopping feed app lets your feed have better quality and because you're helping out the algorithm with knowing exactly who to target it's going to lead to much much better results so this is one final optimization you always want to do another bonus one that you can also do on the Shopify product page customization make sure to add a product type make sure to add product tags and this will again let Google's algorithm have an easier your job targeting your product and finding the right audience simply because you're helping out with providing all of this information which google's algorithm will crawl through and use in order to rank your products but this is the general strategy on what you should be doing to rank number one or rank more towards the front with google shopping ads if you found any type of value in this video smash that like button and smash that subscribe button and i'll see you guys next time